So next up, and our last race from Hereford is the Daffodil Vars Handicap. It's over two and a half miles. So Adrenaline for Neil Van Rensburg is number one. Top shelf for Craig Beckwith is two. Major Left for Axe Cherry is three. Lanalee Sultane and Heathcote Monica four and five for Thomas Rogers. And Fires at Midnight for Martin Leedham is six. So another small field here. Me and Martin have talked about maybe we need to drop some races for next season. Unless we get more takers in the chase. It's We'd be better off having larger fields than such small ones. When we get to the hunter chases later, you'll see there's only a couple of runners and some, and we'll also race 26 this week had no runners at all. Anyway, back to this, and a daffodil bows as they get to the first. And we'll get over that bit of a mistake by Adrenaline. Fires at midnight towards the rear, but we're being led by Heathcote Monarch into the second, another open ditch. This time everybody jumps in much better. So Heathcote Monarch just leads. Round wide, Craig Beckwith's top shelf, and inside of that is Major Left for Alex Cherry. Up against the fence is the stable mate, Lanley Sultane of Heathcote Monarch. And followed through by Fires at Midnight, Neil Van Rensburg's Adrenaline. The top weight come down to mix it with the small boys. So they go over the third. Oh, oh, I thought we'd lost one there, but I think it was Fires at Midnight that made a mistake. Skidded on landing. It's as we were. It's still Heathcote Monarch that leads us from top shelf in second. Another open ditch. Jump it well. Dremlin was slow over it. There's already a couple of lengths detached from chasing on fires at midnight. So just the six runners here. It's still Heathcote Monarch that's going to lead us. I'm going to afford to top shelf and major left. Over you know, the fifth. We jump that much better. Top shelf and major left both. Gained a length in the air on the lead up, but it's still Heathcote Monarch. So we come down to the next, the six. We get over that well, and Dremlin again was slow in the rear, finding the top weight uh, difficult to carry at this moment in time. As we come past the grandstand, winning post, another full circuit to do. Heathcote Monarch that still leads. It's got a four length advantage from Major Left. On the inside is Lemony Sultane. On the outside is Top Shelf for Craig Beckwith. Followed through still by Fires at Midnight. And Adrenaline's just within a couple of links now. They're chasing back. Getting closer all the time. So with a mile and a quarter still to run. We've got eight fences to take. It's Heathcote Monarch that still leads us. Ooh, he almost gave it away there. Went a little bit early. Got away with it. So Heathcote Monarch still holding on to it, but just by a three or four now to Major Left and his stable mate, Landy Sultane. And followed through by a line of horses. Was top shelf adrenaline. Again, we'll slow over it and fires at midnight. So they're all getting much closer now to this leader, Heathcote Monarch. As they come inside the final mile. So it's Heathcote Monarch from his stable mate, Landy Sultane. As he gets in the ninth, they'll get over that well one. Pecked on landing was Major Left and shuffles back to the rear, but there's only five, six lengths from first to last. And even better now is Adrenaline up on the outside, but it's still Heathcote Monarch. From stable mate, Lanley Sultane. These two Thomas Rogers horses come to the tenth. Oh, and he's gone. Heathcote Monarch's finally, our, our leader's gone, but he's left his stable mate, Lanley Sultane, in the lead from Adrenaline. It's moved well up on the outside, so another ditch. Better jump there so by Lanley Sultane. Adrenaline in second, moving up on the inside is Major Left. Adrenaline comes over towards the row, so it's Lanley Sultane, Major Left, and Adrenaline. And we've got a couple of lengths back to the half pushed on fires at midnight and top shelf. Lanley Sultane hasn't asked for anything yet as we come off the top bend and line up for the judge and it's Lanley Sultane from Major Left. Adrenaline still being pushed. Here comes Fires at Midnight on the outside. Slow jump by Lanley Sultane. Fires at Midnight has jumped himself virtually into the lead. So it's Fires at Midnight starting to pull away from everything else here inside the final half mile. Fires at Midnight gets to the ditch, jumps it well, takes another length advantage and it's Fires at Midnight by about four from Langley Sultane on the inside. Major Left trying to run him down now. Adrenaline off the top weight's got a lot to do. We've lost top shelf but it's Fires at Midnight. He's slowing up here as we come down to the penultimate, jumps it well, but it's still fires at midnight by five from Major Left, one to jump. Langley Sultane on the inside, Adrenaline still plugging away, further and a half to run. This is fires at midnight, going to hang on to it. He managed to win the last just by hanging on Martin Leadham. They go over the last, but fire at Major Left jumped it better. Fires at midnight doesn't look like he's got a lot left. Here comes Major Left inside the final half. Fires at midnight hanging on here, Adrenaline still running on well, but Major Left is just going to nose up, and it's Major Left that's going to take it this time from Fires at Midnight in 
second, Adrenaline in third. And I have Phil in the last race, Martin. <laughs> Although I didn't pip you. But it's a good win there for Alex Cherry with major left. Well done. Takes the Daffodil Vars handicap. Second was Fires at midnight for Martin Leedham. Third was Adrenaline for Leon Van Rensburg. Fourth was Lanley Sultane for Thomas Rogers. And fifth was Top Shelf for Craig Beckworth.